G'day guys, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some super easy snacks to do. There's another three recipes I'm gonna try. This is the third video in my DIY snacks at home for kids. So although I say kids, Dave and I both eat these as well. They're fantastic for adults too. So the three recipes I'm gonna be doing today are some cheesy pasta bites, some muffins. I love to do a muffin recipe each time. Last time I did carrots, today I'm gonna to be doing blueberries as well as some sweet potato biscuits. So let's get into it. Next up, we're doing the cheesy pasta bites. So I've got some macaroni pasta, some thyme leaves. I could have also used fresh ones, but I just didn't. It's just cheaper to use the dried ones. Some cheese, cauliflower, and pumpkin. Now for both of these, I only need 150 grams. So I'm just gonna do the whole lot and I'll actually double the recipe because it says to use 250 grams, but I wanna use all my pasta so there's no waste. So I'll double this recipe today. I'm certainly finding these recipes are easy to make and they freeze so well. So they're perfect for snacks and for lunch. These pasta bites I'm gonna be used as simple lunches and it's great. I mean, it's got pumpkin in it, it's got cauliflower. So first off, I'm gonna get some water boiling and then I'm gonna chop up the cauliflower. Then I'm gonna use this metal strainer as a steamer and steam the cauliflower because I'm doing the whole lot. Um, I can't fit the pumpkin in as well. So I'm just gonna do the cauliflower first and then chop up the pumpkin. The water's finally boiling for the macaroni. It takes ages, even though I use boiling hot water from the kettle, it still takes ages to get boiling. So I'm just adding that in and then I'm going back to sorting out this pumpkin. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Come and catch me, baby. I love the flavor of Kent pumpkins and it certainly works with this dish. With the pasta and the cauliflower, it certainly gives a really nice flavor. So I do recommend using a Kent pumpkin for this. And the pasta's finally done, so that's good. It's said to use some baking paper, but I'm just gonna use these patty pans. vegetables certainly took a lot longer so the cauliflower's come off now so I'm putting the pumpkin in all these recipes that require the oven always say step number one preheat the oven but I never do that the oven is always ready way before I'm ready while the pumpkin's steaming what I'm going to do next is prepare the sweet potatoes so next I'm gonna do the sweet potato cookies. So I'm gonna prepare the sweet potato. Um, for this recipe, we need some cinnamon, oats, chia seeds. Um, Dave's also mixed them with some buckwheat, so they're gonna get a bit of both. Um, if we just had chia seeds, I'd just use those. Plain flour and banana. So now I'm on to prepping the sweet potato, chopping off the ends, peeling it, and then I'm gonna chop it up. I'm also going to measure just how much cauliflower I've got. So I'm just measuring a similar bowl so I can just swap them over. 
Um, like I said, it's the first time I do a recipe. I try to do it as close to the recipe as possible. So this one needed 300 grams of cauliflower. So I'm kind of close enough. I'm doing the same here with the pumpkin. I need 300 grams of pumpkin. That's all I'm going to use. And then the other I'll just put to the side. And we just ended up having it for dinner that night. We had some of the sweet potato and pumpkin that was left over. The kids really enjoyed it. I'm going to be using three cups of mozzarella cheese. Um, it said to use light, tasty shredded cheese. I just use what we've got. I absolutely love mozzy. I just love the flavour and the stringiness it creates. Then I added in some of the thyme and then I hit a bit of a problem here. My bowl wasn't big enough because I doubled the recipe to put the macaroni in and mix it all together. So what I did is I just thought I'll put the pasta down the bottom and then add in the topping, so to speak. The problem was that because it wasn't all mixed together, the cheese hadn't gone throughout. So when we were eating it, some of the macaroni is just stuck to the paper instead of being stuck to the rest of the stuff. So it didn't hold like it would have if I'd mixed it all together. Together. So that was definitely a rookie mistake that I'll do different next time. As always, the recipes I use, I've got linked below. I don't give the exact ingredients in the video because they're not my recipes. I'm just making them. So I want to give credit to the creators. And if you go to their websites, then you'll probably see some ads and that's how they get paid. Just like I get paid by the Google ads you see, that's how they get paid. So that's why I've just linked the recipes below so you can go check out their blogs. I noticed chia seeds are popping up in a lot of recipes of late. So I actually went on Google Scholar and had a little look and what's so good about chia seeds. And chia seeds are the richest plant source of omega-3 fatty acids. So that's why they're getting really popular. They've also got so many other great things in them, which you can see on the screen. Another fun fact about chia seeds is there's no difference in nutritional content between black chia seeds and white chia seeds. Here I am just measuring out the amount of sweet potato and like I said I use the leftover as a side for dinner later that night and often I notice with these recipes they tend to have bananas too which we like and this recipe has bananas in it. My first ever toddler snack video that I did a few years ago we did a really simple one which was oats and banana and my daughter ate that so often it was so easy to make um, and she loved it just had to remember to keep it in the fridge because otherwise it just went mouldy. They recommended putting the chia seeds with two tablespoons of water so that it would become a gel like substance and that was going to take 15 minutes. So I put the chia seeds and the buckwheat in there as well and it still became a gel like substance. I love when recipes give you handy tips as well. They recommended wetting your hands when you're rolling the sweet potato cookies so that they don't stick to your hands and it really worked. So. Once I put all those together, I put them all out on a tray and then just used a wet fork to squash them. And so then I've got sweet potato cookies. After 20 minutes in the oven, the pasta bakes look great. These are the same oven temperature as the pasta bakes, so 180 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Does your oven use Fahrenheit or Celsius?
But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me the pasta bakes today, I'm going to freeze the majority of them so that I've got some simple lunches for the kids. Making another lot of pasta bakes while the sweet potato cookies are cooking in the oven before moving on to the banana and blueberry muffins. These muffins are delicious. We ended up not freezing them just because we've eaten them so quickly. They are so good. There's no added sugar in it and you really don't need it. It's so delicious. So I really recommend these muffins. City lights looking fine and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do. The excess pasta here, what I'm just gonna do is freeze it, and then when I make a spaghetti bolognese, I've already got the pasta done. That's meal prepping made easy. Um, future Ali will be very grateful. I don't normally talk about future Ali, but someone at work called themselves future Fiona and it just made me laugh so much. So I thought I'd add that into my vocabulary. I've just got to get the dishwasher on. There are dishes all throughout the sink, so I'm just filling it up as much as I can and just going to get that on. It's just becoming super messy. We make our way to what we see to memories. Don't be afraid. Just break the chain. All right, so for the banana and blueberry muffins, I'm going to be using two bananas. 30 blueberries or roughly the blueberries just go on at the end I didn't count I just put three or four on the top of each cupcake two eggs 100 grams of butter now they do also say that you can use oil but I just love the taste of butter so I'm going with the butter um, and then vanilla essence baking powder and flour so first off, what was interesting about this recipe for the flour, it didn't actually say a cup measurement. It said 160 grams. So that's why I've got to measure that here rather than just using a cupful. Because I had no idea what 160 grams of flour was. So first off, I'm getting that butter melted and I've got the flour in that bowl. I'm adding the baking powder and then in another bowl I'm going to do the eggs just to check them and make sure they're okay before I mix them in with the butter as well as the vanilla essence we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. And then I'm going to mash up the banana. So if you wanted to make this even finer, you could always use a mix master to get it as smooth as possible. But I haven't. I'm just mixing it with my hands and it's been fine for us and my kids. But definitely wherever your kids are at eating wise, especially baby led weaning, um, do consider you can make it smoother if you need to. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. 
You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed. The oven tray is still hot from the cheesy pasta bakes, so that's why I've got it on that wooden chopping board before putting in some more cupcake liners. And then I'm going to add in this mixture before putting on, like I said, three to four blueberries on top. When you're keeping me wondering, you know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. And then after 20 minutes, I just checked it to see and they were ready. So that was awesome. And so this is what I've got. The blueberry muffins, like I said, so delicious. Was going to freeze some, but didn't end up because we just kept eating them. I got so many pasta bites. And the sweet potato cookies are just delicious too. We're keeping those in the fridge and I've frozen half of those as well. So I'll leave the videos here for my three other toddler and kid snack videos so that you can go click on those if you want. Like I said, I love easy, simple, delicious recipes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.